Five years ago, most of us would not have been caught dead wearing golf shoes off the golf course. But now, the idea of the all-day golf shoe is very much a real thing, and a lot of brands have started to take notice. These are essentially shoes that are meant for both the golf course and for wearing around town or traveling or working out. And I'm gonna be totally honest, having a few pairs of these all-day golf shoes has just added a whole new level of versatility to both my golf wardrobe as well as my day-to-day -day wardrobe that I really wasn't expecting. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my five favorite all-day golf shoes as well as help you figure out if this is a product category that you should even consider because honestly, it's not gonna be for everybody. So if you're interested, if you've been thinking about picking up an all-day golf shoe and you wanna know which ones you should get, keep watching, today's video's for you. Real quick, if you're in the market for some golf shoes and you're not sure which ones to get, then uh, I put together a quiz for you. You're gonna go answer a few questions about what you are looking for, and I'm gonna give you my best recommendation based on your needs. The link is below, and I think you're gonna find it really valuable when it comes to finding the right golf shoes for you. All right, so the way this video is gonna work is I'm gonna give you five recommendations that are each going to fall into a different category, but before we get into that, I wanna talk a little bit about the pros and cons of the all-day golf shoe to start with. So for me, one of the biggest pros to having a pair of all-day golf shoes is it makes travel a lot easier. Let's say you're going on vacation and you're only playing one or two rounds of golf. Well, you probably don't wanna pack a whole set of dedicated golf shoes, especially if you have kids and you already have a ton of other crap you gotta pack. Well, having a pair of all-day shoes, you can wear these on the plane, you can wear them to the gym, you can wear them when you're out exploring, doing the scenic things, and you can wear them on the golf course. And so being able to pair down two pairs of shoes down to one just makes traveling so much easier. Another big benefit to all day shoes is honestly, golf shoes are expensive. And frankly, the ones on this list are pretty expensive. I found it to be super nice where I've got these golf shoes that I may only wear for a handful of rounds of golf a year to be able to wear out around town in my day-to-day -day life. And most of these shoes, I've spent more time wearing day-to-day -day than I have on the golf course. Then there's obviously the downsides. A lot of all-day shoes aren't waterproof, or at least they're not as waterproof as some traditional tour shoes. You're also gonna find that a lot of them aren't as stable and you're not going to have as good of traction. So for tournament players or really competitive golfers, a lot of these will be a non-starter. Also, for as comfortable as many all-day models are, some just aren't up to the task of walking 18 holes. They might be great for an emergency nine in a cart, but once you start walking 18 holes and swinging and playing golf, you might find there's just not enough stability to keep your feet comfortable for that amount of time. All right, so now that you understand some of the pros and cons to an all-day shoe, which ones should you buy? Well, everyone's gonna have different needs, so I'm going to lay out my five favorites. The first one is the best all-day shoe for vacation, and that is this. This is the True Linkswear All-Day Knit 2. Not the three, the two. I love this shoe for a number of reasons. First off, I think all the colorways look really good and it's incredibly light. So if you don't wanna wear these on the plane, they're super easy to pack down and they're not gonna take up a bunch of weight in your suitcase. These are also perfect for like, if you're out on the beach or you're walking around town, they're comfortable. You can wear them without socks if you don't want to. They're a great summer shoe. And so the reason I say they're the best for vacation is because if you're only playing one round of resort golf in a cart, these are going to be just fine. The downside to these, they're not waterproof, and they're also probably the least stable of all of the shoes on this list. So this is not gonna be a shoe you're going to use day in and day out. You could certainly walk 18 holes in them, but they're gonna be more comfortable if you are riding in a cart. Before we get into the rest of the list, I wanna share a few bonus options that fall into this category because, well, they're basically the same shoe. That would be the True Linkswear All Day 3, which is the newer version of the shoe, which feels a little bit more stable. It's got some awesome colorways, but they change the insole to a different material and I find that my feet kind of stick in it when I'm wearing socks and I just don't find it to be quite as comfortable because of that as I do the All Day Knit 2, which is probably why even like three or four years after the Knit 2 came out and they came out with the Knit 3, they're still selling the Knit 2s. And you can often, during sale times, you can find them for well under $100, making them a pretty killer deal. But for me, I would go with the two over the three, even though I love the way the three looks. The third option in this same family is the All Day Ripstop. Again, they've got some awesome colorways. They make a great replacement for just a walking around all day shoe. Again, not necessarily the preferential shoe for walking 18 holes. In fact, this summer I took a trip to Philadelphia. I was wearing these on the plane uh, and the airline lost my luggage. I had a 36 hole golf day at Aronimink and Marion that I then got to play in these shoes. They we're okay, but let's just say by the end of walking 36 holes, my feet weren't necessarily super happy. That doesn't change the fact that I love these shoes. They're great for wearing around town, great for more casual rounds, and they don't have the insole issues of the Knit 3. These are very, very comfortable, and so definitely uh, recommend them. 
All right, next up in our list is best trainers. If you're looking for a pair of all day golf shoes that you can wear out and wear to the gym and really just make a do anything golf shoe when you're traveling, this gets my pick. And these are the G4 MG4 X2 shoes. Now this is a pretty bold colorway. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of different materials, but that's one of the things I love about it. When I first got these shoes, I was kind of thinking, I was like, you know what? This might be a little bit much for me styling wise, but I've probably worn these more than any other shoe on the list. G4 has a few unique features. First off, there's the massaging nubbed insoles, which have these little ridges that actually feel really good. And if you're wearing the shoes for a long time, they get really comfortable. Build quality is second to none. They use a variety of different materials across the shoe that just give it some different textures. There's different technology built in that makes this a really well-rounded shoe, both for the golf course as well as walking around. I've worn this on cross-country flights, had no problems with this. I've also walked 18 holes in these shoes numerous times and they have performed admirably. When it comes to golfing and all day shoes, I think these are some of the best. You could legitimately use this as your main pair of summer golf shoes and they're going to be great. The traction isn't quite on the level of some other spikeless models that are dedicated to golf, but it exceeded my expectations and overall I love these shoes. It's even better that recently they dropped the price from $225 down to $195 and you can often find them on sales less than that. We actually have a G4 coupon code you can use below, save you another 10%. Um, but if it's in your budget, these are an excellent pair. One downside to this model is this particular colorway has a white mesh across the top that tends to get pretty dirty. So if you're not good about keeping your shoes clean, like me, you'll find that these can tend to scuff up quite a bit, can totally be cleaned off. It's not the end of the world, but they do get a little bit more dirty than some of these other models. All right, best all day golf shoe for dressing up and wearing in slightly more formal settings. And that goes to this, the True Link Swear Mixed Media FS2. Now you may already be saying, uh, what's the deal? You've got a lot of true Linkswear shoes already on this list. And the reality is, is because no other company is taking the idea of an all day golf shoe as seriously as true Linkswear. So they've created a number of models that each serve a different purpose. And the Mixed Media FSO2 is a great example of this. Similar to the G4 we just talked about, it uses a variety of different materials to really make it feel high end. It's got leather across the top. It's got mesh on the sides. It's got a kind of a microfiber suede toe box. And overall that combined, to just give it a more elevated look. On the course, these actually performed better than I expected them to. I had good traction with them. They were comfortable to walk in. They do have that same material on the insole as the Knit 3, which I said I didn't love because it kind of bunches up your socks. But I like this shoe so much that I'm kind of overwilling to look that minor annoyance. And they're both comfortable on the course as well as comfortable walking around. These are ones I wear all the time with jeans. You wear a sweater, jeans, these. It just kind of dresses everything up, whereas most of these shoes feel more like trainers, they feel like athletic shoes. These feel a little bit more refined. So if you're going on, say, a business trip and you're going to play a round of golf, but you also need something you can wear out for a relatively nice dinner, these can definitely fit the part. Also worth noting, there's a coupon code below that you can use to save 15% off any True Links Wear shoe. Some of these shoes, they are getting pretty expensive. This one's 185 retail, but you add 15% to that and all of a sudden it becomes much more manageable. Also, I feel like it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you use any of our coupon codes or if you use any of the links below, I will get a commission on that. To be clear, I do not care what you buy. I don't care if you buy anything at all. My whole goal here is to give you honest feedback to help you find the right products for you. And if I can save you money in the process, all the better. But if you think that makes me biased or you don't trust me for that reason, I totally get it. You can go Google the names of any of these shoes. You can find the links to buy them and you can do it that way. No hard feelings. My whole goal here is to help you. All right, next up on our list is the most sustainable golf shoe. If you're looking for a shoe that has sustainable manufacturing and build processes, then this might be the one for you, and that is the Allbirds Golf Dasher. So Allbirds has made its name as being a sustainable brand, and they have carried that through with all of their manufacturing processes, both from the way they construct the shoes as well as the materials they use. The best compliment I can give to these shoes is that they feel just like any other pair of Allbirds who make some of the most comfortable shoes in the world. These are also a little bit cheaper than some of the ones on this list. These retail at $145, whereas some of these ones are creeping up towards $200. If you're looking for a pair of Allbirds that you can golf in, then this is a no-brainer. But if you're also just looking for a pair of Allbirds to wear around, 
also kind of a no-brainer. The traction on these isn't quite as robust as it is with some other models, and it's probably not a shoe that I would plan to wear out in the rain or in inclement weather. As far as performance on the course goes, they actually performed better than I expected. Looking at the sole, I didn't think I was going to have a ton of traction, but when I first tested these out, it was on an early morning dewy golf course, and I didn't slip once. You'll also find that they've added elements on the side to help increase the water resistance. So while they're not fully waterproof, if the course is a little wet early in the morning, you should still have no major issues wearing these. So when you factor in comfort, sustainability, and the fact that they essentially feel like wearing traditional Allbird shoes, these are a little bit of a dark horse in the all-day market and might be right for you. All right, and finally, that brings us to our best overall all-day golf shoe, and I'm not going to lie, this one was close. I almost gave it to the G4 because I really, really like that shoe, but this one edges it out in just a few ways, and that is the True Linkswear Lux Hybrid. I love this golf shoe. First off, I think this is probably the best looking shoe of the bunch. That G4, the styling, it's, it's not gonna be for everybody. These, I think most people would look at that and be like, damn, it's a good looking golf shoe. For me, it kind of evokes a look of some like classic Nike Air Max shoes from back in the day. But overall, I think it's just a really nice classic looking shoe that looks good both on the golf course and not on the golf course. That's why these have gotten so much use for me because these are truly the shoes I will wear on the golf course and then just go straight to the bar, or straight to a restaurant afterwards, or straight to go out with friends because they really do feel like both golf shoes and everyday shoes at the same time, and they perform both of those duties really well. If I were going back and getting another pair, I'm not sure I would personally go for the high vis White just because I have a tough time keeping things clean, although I know some of you, this is absolutely the one you would go for. I love the subtle camo that you get on the side here. The mesh makes it super breathable, but here's the kicker that I wouldn't have necessarily expected by looking at this shoe. This is a fully waterproof golf shoe. You see this mesh and you're like, oh, it's breathable, but water is going to get in it. No. This thing is fully waterproof. So while they're obviously not the shoes I'm gonna pick out if I'm going to go play in a monsoon at Bandon Dunes, they are great for those dewy mornings or if there's a chance of rain, I know if these get wet, my feet are going to stay dry. And on the course, these perform very well. Traction, support, stability, comfort, all very, very good, just shy of the very best spikeless shoes on the market, like the Biome C4, the Biome H4, or the G4 MG4 Plus. But the fact these are almost as good as those and you can wear them around town. That just makes this the most versatile shoe on the list and one I really, really like. So retail price on these is $205, but you will often see them on sale, especially on old colorways. So currently right now, I believe they're $143 on the True Link Square website, which really makes these a killer deal. But I think these are a great starting point for someone who's looking to get an all-day shoe, you're not sure if it's right for you, and you want something that's gonna do everything really well, that would be this shoe. That's the one I would go with. So with that, my name is Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Breaking 80, where we talk about cool golf products and golf courses. If you got some value out of this, maybe hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell. If you have comments or questions about any of these products, drop a link below. If you have questions about how they compare to other golf shoes on the market that I may have reviewed, drop a comment as well. My whole goal here is to help you find the right products for your needs, and so I want to do that to the best of my ability. With that, I hope you have an excellent day, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.